Now, if you don't have a cost of the program, you can just add zero or just leave this blank. It's not required. Now, this program checklist, you'll want to make sure that you submit your requisition to your manager before you go ahead and submit all of this information. It would be a lot of work to go ahead and submit all of this information before the program is, the funds have even been approved. So um, unless your manager says otherwise, um, my suggestion is to submit your requisition first. Um, if, there are no, is, if there are no funds that are required for your program, you can, you can click Not Applicable. Uh, the same goes for a mail presenter letter. Obviously, if you have an outside speaker or presenter that's coming in to speak, you'll want to get the you'll want to get the funds approved before you you send your presenter letter. If there is no presenter, then you can click not applicable. If you don't need a friend sponsorship, and you obviously don't need to fill out a friend's request form, so you can click not applicable for those, or yes or no, depending on the situation. You will still want to note your program on the publisher calendar on the Z drive. Um, so make sure that you do that. And uh, another addition that's been added is to request a flyer or a sign for your program. If you would like Laura to, to create or print a sign for your program or a flyer, um, please check yes or no or not applicable for, for whatever reason it's not applicable for you. What equipment is needed? Please check um, any equipment that's needed. Um, if you request tables, please put how many. Um, or a, a short description of how you want them set up. Any additional information, there is a box that you can add um, additional information. Sometimes story times, you need name tags. So Now once you're finished, you sh I would suggest printing this. Um, go ahead and print this, and then when you're done printing, you can click Done. Um, you'll get a screen that says to thank you let, for letting us know about your upcoming program. Your building manager will contact you regarding the approval status. One of the things that I want to mention is that if you do have any changes to your program, if something happens and you need to change a date or a time or an age group or anything like that, unfortunately you cannot go back and change um, the answers that once they've been submitted. You can, if you like, fill out a new form with um, updated or something to the effect in the program title, or you can send just a small blurb of changes to pub program or to your manager some, somewhere where everyone can get it um, because you won't be able to access that information once it's been submitted. Now when you click Done, this will take you back to a blank program information form and you'll be able to fill out a new information form for any other existing programs that you have made coming up. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me at beth.hatch at welibrary.info or my extension is 132 um, at the building in Willowick. I hope to come around to some of the different buildings and um, sit down with anyone that needs help with this. Um, your manager should be able to go over with you and, and show you how it works. It's, it's pretty simple, um, pretty self-explanatory, but if you do have trouble with it, please let me know.